Hi, Batlings. Hi. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. I know it feels like I've been gone forever already. <laughs> but hey, it's it's the first stream of the only two stream week. Hello, hello. And we'll we'll get through it. We'll get through it. <laughs> New cosmetic. Yeah. I figured, I mean, it's a Star Rail stream, so. Hello, I'm doing good. Let me turn up the game volume. Hold on. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It should be, there we go. Have you been playing without us? Yes. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> I've been playing, I, I've been playing quite a bit not on stream because i mean it's <laughs> it's a gacha game they have events constantly i can't just stream honkai star rail all the time <laughs> yes i did i did all right you know let's let's look through my uh characters oh shit i'm lagging already <laughs> oh no hold on I, I might have to turn my graphics down. <laughs> this might be a little much for my computer to handle. Uh, let's see, let's see. Just, uh, just, just give it a second, just give it a second. Let's, let's just turn some stuff to low. We're gonna try and keep characters at high. <laughs> Brag about your polls on Twitter or Discord? I mean, I could, but I, I don't feel like it. Hopefully I'm not just lagging for the rest of the time. It should be getting better. <laughs> I need a better computer. Are we good? I think we're good for now. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, all the characters I have are... First of all, we have Black Swan. <laughs> I think she might be my strongest. And then... Uh, Kafka, which I, I think I had last time, maybe. Not entirely sure, but <laughs> I think I might have gotten her last time. Uh, Huo Huo, if that's how you say your name, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> and then uh, I have Himeko, Lynx. <laughs> Yeah, they're making a bunch of different games. March 7th, of course. I've been raising her recently because I really need someone to uh, make shields. So I've been trying to raise her up because I, I kind of forgot about her. <laughs> um, Bailu. I was using her as a healer for a while until I got Ho Ho. Uh, Natasha, who was my healer before that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why half these people like don't have uh, light cones. No fire trailblazer. She's she's back there. <laughs> I haven't raised her up. Yeah, I completely forgot about that until uh, the trial with uh, Akron, Sampo, uh, Pela. I finally got Yukong. And Clara, which I haven't leveled in a while. Sorry. <laughs> but like getting materials is hard okay um i'm not entirely sure how to say your name so i'm probably not gonna try <laughs> Zerbal, uh den hung here's me i haven't done like anything <laughs> Because I am still level 50. Well, 47 actually. <laughs> uh, Asta, Sushan, Hook. I got this guy, Misha. I think he's he's new. Uh, Dr. Ratio, everyone got him for free. Guinafen, Guinafen, not entirely sure. <laughs> 
Hello. Luca. You can tell so many of these people I've never even used. Tingyo. <laughs> Herda. And Arlen. <laughs> so I, I have a decent collection going on. Oh no, it's gonna start lagging again when I get in the game itself. Here, let's let's see if we can sacrifice the graphics even more. <laughs> start and turn start turning everything to low. <laughs> Just turn shadows off. We don't need those. Haven't built ratio? No. Is he useful? I don't know if <laughs> Listen, listen. I I just have a certain type, okay? So I think what I want to do, I want to get relics for March 7th first. How my supports work. <laughs> I don't really... <laughs> I don't actually like... I don't know. I, I don't make like team comps. I kind of just level characters that I like and throw them all in a team together. Um, I have a bunch of artifacts from, or relics, I mean, from farming, but I don't know if any of them are really good for March 7th. Maybe this one since it's follow ups, but not entirely sure. Uh, I, I guess for now it would work. Attack and crit rate, that's probably going to be the best one. Overall. Uh, I equipped this one because she didn't have gloves at all. <laughs> mm, and then this one. I guess we'll go with the crit rate one. Or maybe crit damage. I'll probably do the crit damage one. <laughs> I agree, that is the best way to play. And for these... Uh, yeah, just, just throw these all on her. Would she need a defense? Maybe? I don't really know how she works. Let me see. Um... No, that's, that's her skill, right? Yes, that's her, that's her skill. Equal to 40% of March 7th's defense. Oh, okay. Yeah, I probably should build defense. Do I have any defense ones? I do have defense. Let's, let's just level this up a little bit. Just a little. <laughs> We don't need too much. Not right now, at least. Alright. Um. Let's see. Besides that, I don't. I don't really want to do the story quest on stream because I don't know. I don't know if any of you guys care about spoilers. And also, you know, I haven't been doing the story on stream, so. It might be kind of confusing for anyone who hasn't seen it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do any of the, the events right now. Like I said, I just want to grind for stuff. Story quest is four plus hours. And the new one? Oh my god. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> my fucking... <laughs> my phone. Okay. It's fine. The event? Uh, well, the anniversary is happening right now. The first anniversary. So I'm not entirely sure what the event is. I mean, you get a bunch of stuff for it, but I don't know what you do. We'll see. <laughs> um, I do want to get better artifacts for her. What does her stuff scale off of? New one's about six hours at least. Most of it I've heard are cutscenes, so it's like a movie. I see. Okay, so it scales off of her HP. 
let's see what do we have oh so these relics really suck for her <laughs> yeah i probably need some better ones are there any that would be good for her though i'm wondering not going healing maybe but even then i don't know if that's super useful I guess I could just look through all the relics. Effect rise around 30% and then a bunch of HP. Okay. So let's see. I gotta look at my artifacts or relics. <laughs> I keep thinking of like Genshin terms and I haven't even played Genshin in a really long time. So let's see. That's EXP materials. It's ice damage, wind damage, break effect, physical damage, outgoing healing, attack, well there's plenty of different sets I could go for. I think stellar jade's better, but I, I like star rail a lot more than Genshin anyway. After the Kafka events, what happened? Um, a lot. <laughs> Actually, this one. Hmm, I don't know. I was gonna say this one could be good, but when the wearer is hit or has their HP consumed by an ally or themselves, their crit rate increases by eight percent for two turns and up to two stacks. I don't. I just don't think that would be super useful. Not on her, at least. Probably not. Two pieces of that and two pieces of the other set? Okay. Well, I mean, the two-piece makes sense, just the four-piece doesn't, really. So... This one, outgoing healing, and then... Right. Let's get these ones first. Hopefully I have characters that are suitable for this. <laughs> I've only really built like uh like four or five. Four or five like good characters at least. Also, I I've been grinding today. Off stream. Just don't mind it. Just don't 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 mind it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Uh, let's see. Well, maybe, maybe if we call in a support, that <laughs> surely it'll be fine. Just, just put Jinglu in there. However you say her name. Just, just put her in there. We'll be fine. <laughs> it'll work out, surely. Oh no, it's gonna lag a lot now because of the battle, isn't it? Okay, maybe it's fine. Uh, well, I have two wind guys, but that that's okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I probably it'd probably be better if I had two lightning. Whatever it's actually called, thunder. <laughs> so maybe maybe I should have taken Bailu. That would have been a little more useful, probably. Also, I'm gonna turn my own volume down because it's a little loud on my end. Ah, uh, we'll take out these guys first. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. Mm, he's probably he's probably gonna die, so we'll attack this guy. Wait, use auto a lot? Not really. Usually I just I don't know. <laughs> I do everything myself. 
Because, like, I, I would rather be in charge, be able to take control if anything bad happens. I mean, if I play the game more, I might use auto a lot more, but... <laughs> I guess I could use someone's ultimate now. I wasn't even paying attention to them. Probably should. I probably also need to turn my graphics down even more. <laughs> my computer's just not strong enough to handle Star Rail and streaming at the same time. Alright, okay. uh, wow, that's really bad. <laughs> I think I'm probably going to limit it to 30 FPS. Shouldn't look too bad, right? Hypothetically, anyways. Let's see. It'll look fine at 30 frames. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't really want to do the 66 level one. I mean, just playing it, like, on my own time, usually it's fine. Yeah, frame rate, usually you can't notice a difference unless you're like really speculating. Um, we're gonna keep Black Swan. I'm gonna trade her out for Bailu. Although I think I need to... Do I need another light cone on her? Or are we good? No, I think she has everything she needs. Well, I think she has some random relics on her, but that's... Fine. <laughs> Whatever. For, for right now, that's fine. Or I guess I kind of forgot about links. We we can use links. Use links, and then I don't know about March seventh. She doesn't have a ton of HP right now, so we'll probably just go with support again. If I had built March seventh more, I would take her. <laughs> Never been one to complain about frames per second. Yeah, me neither. I mean, usually, like I said, I can't even really notice the difference between them. <laughs> so even if I have to turn a game's frame rate down, I don't really mind too much. <laughs> Alright, now it should be maybe a little simpler since I have characters that are better suited. What does FPS do? Uh, pretty much just makes the game look smoother. But like I said, there's not too much of a difference, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. But like, you you don't need it to look super smooth. <laughs> and I'm I'm willing to sacrifice a few frames for the, the actual gameplay to run fine and not be super laggy. <laughs> but anyway, anyway. I went out and I got I got ice cream today. And also a milkshake. Cause <laughs> Because I'm insane like that. Yeah, I mean, games like RPGs and strategies, I don't think frame rate matters too much. Unless you're fear and hunger and you have like a billion plugins, and then it kind of matters. <laughs> um, For the ice cream, it was vanilla. The milkshake was chocolate. <laughs> I just had to go both, you know? Um, let's use both of their ults. Since just one probably won't kill him. Oh no, it did. <laughs> uh, well, that is one thing I need, but I don't really need attack. Nothing insane about it. <laughs> Classic white woman flavor? Man, come on. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> like I said the other day, I I keep seeing people like 
you know, post like their ethnicities on Twitter, other VTubers. And I'm like, I don't know, man. I'm I'm literally just a white woman. <laughs> I don't even know what I am, but I'm pretty sure I'm just a white woman. <laughs> I don't even need to get my DNA done to know that. No, I don't think I have. But like, I also... I got Joan of Arc out today and I was letting her run around. <laughs> I almost post a picture of Arcade and say that's me. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> But uh, I was gonna say, I took Joan of Arc and I was letting her run around on my bed and <laughs> I almost had a repeat of the two incidents, it's been two now, where she uh, like fell off the side of my bed and <laughs> I, I saw her like run to the edge and I got so scared and I grabbed her and I was like, we are not doing this again. <laughs> Yes. For some reason, she really likes going to the edge of my bed. I don't know why. She knows she's gonna fall off. So I have to catch her every time. <laughs> she doesn't even escape though, she just like hides under my bed. <laughs> I mean, she's... she's pretty intelligent, I'd say. For a hamster. We're just gonna spam everyone's ult. Why not? <laughs> Why is this such a stressful affair? <laughs> I don't know. Joan of Arc loves torturing me. <laughs> Which like, when I got Joan of Arc and when I got Morgan Le Fay, I was like, okay, well, Morgan's... Morgan's gonna be like, the hamster that I can't really do much with, because, like, I, I can't really pick her up, right? Because <laughs> she's, she's pretty big. Pretty big. This one's also attack. Let's go again. <laughs> Maybe I should. But, like, I was like, and Morgan's probably gonna bite me all the time. But, like, Joan doesn't bite me, so that's fine. And then... <laughs> all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Joan of Arc started biting again. Welcome relief from the stress of hunger. It kind of does, yeah. <laughs> I don't have to plan out as much. But, uh, like, Joan of Arc started biting out of nowhere again. Which, I don't know, maybe it's just a hamster thing. <laughs> Which, she started doing it less, so I don't know. Maybe she just felt like being evil for a bit. <laughs> and like, the thing is, Morgan hasn't been biting me. She hasn't bitten me in a long time. So I'm like, did, did you guys like suddenly switch or what? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna... Hold. Yeah, she, she's like chewing on the log and she's also chewing on her wheel. Which like, I've tried to discourage her from um, chewing on the wheel because I'd rather her not chew that up since it's made of plastic and not like something she should be chewing on. <laughs> I don't know if she actually eats it, but I, I'd prefer if she didn't. They don't have hamster handling gloves that are also bulletproof. <laughs> See, the thing is, I don't like using a glove with Joan because, like, I don't want to go back to when I first got her, where I had to use a glove all the time. So it, it wasn't very fun. Okay, this is kind of nothing. I'm gonna refill my shit again. <laughs> Let's just take all of it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 
We'll see if it stops in a while. I just noticed it only like recently, so... It hasn't been super long. Which I mean, even when she bites, it's not like super hard. Like not enough to draw blood, because when I first got her... Whenever she bit, it was usually hard enough to like break the skin. Which was not fun. <laughs> But now when she bites, it's kind of like just enough to hold on. But I, I can shake her off pretty easily and it doesn't like hurt me. I'm gonna heal. I haven't been paying attention to health. Yes, I think their teeth do grow forever. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, hamsters, you see them as like... You see parents getting them for their little kids all the time. Um, she hasn't been biting like the cage or anything. Which I mean, she has like a tank. I haven't noticed anything that's super different from usual. Bears or hamsters. Morgan is a bear hamster, whatever that means. But like, <laughs> like I said, I always see parents get their little kids hamsters and I always have to wonder how that ends up for them. Because, you know, most hamsters will bite when you first get them. So I, I don't know how the parents handle that. Because I feel like most little kids would get a hamster and then immediately not want it anymore. <laughs> Mark needs a hamster based horror film. Bear hamster versus Syrian hamster. Yeah, I think they're slightly different. Not like super different though. They really are, yeah. Like when I had my mice, I thought they were going to be super simple to take care of. But then, you know, I found out their immune systems are really fragile and everything. So I started having to buy them like antibiotics that I would put in their water and stuff like that. So it, it was not as cheap as I thought it would be. Are you on Star Rail? Sure. Uh let's see. I'll put my I'll put my UID in the chat for a bit. Oh, that's the wrong screen. Uh, let me copy this. I mean, you could get it from there, but it's just going to be easier to put it in the chat. And I'll, I'll pin it for a bit. Here we go. I always wanted a chinchilla when I was younger. <laughs> but at the time, I didn't realize, like, how much work it would be. Let's look at the relics I got. Nope, not for you. Let's see. I think it was like boots, wasn't it? No. What were the artifacts or relics I got for? Oh no, they were gloves. Every hamster owner has some kind of nightmare story. <laughs> Yeah, I I don't think I could get a snake. I wanted one for a bit when I was younger. I need something that scales off of defense. Or no, HP. HP. Because hers is HP, isn't it? Yes. It's her max HP. I mean, I could just go with whatever for now. Or wait, are these all attack? They might all be attack. Okay, then it doesn't matter anyway. Mm, HP substat is probably fine. This game is so underrated. I think it's pretty adequately rated. Reptile mom by <laughs> Thea. Really could be strange. Alright, we'll put that on her for now. I don't think I really got anything else super useful. We'll keep we'll keep trying. 
That story quest is really trying to get me to play. The current team's underpowered? No. The current team's fine. We'll try... We'll try this one. It should work out in the end. Probably. <laughs> we'll see. But hopefully it should. Recently saw an indie horror game about hamsters. I mean, I guess you could interpret hamsters into a horror game, but I don't really see how. <laughs> could be interesting to check out, though. Uh, yeah, just do that. Just. And then, like I said, the past two days for me have been pretty, pretty productive. I've gotten a lot of work done, so I'm pretty satisfied. Go Go Hamster Chef. Oh, I think I played that on the channel a while ago. Quite a while ago. I think I still had 1.0. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I'll accept after the battle. But yeah, I know they can climb. That's <laughs> that's why I didn't want to um, get like a wire cage for either of them, and also because I didn't want like their feet to get stuck or anything. <laughs> I think I the only really notable thing to come out of that stream is that I got put on like a hamster vlog. Or blog, not vlog. I got put on a hamster blog for some reason. Like some hamster blog that was entirely in Japanese. <laughs> I was like, uh, okay. A little strange, but... <laughs> I don't know, it just seemed like they were... posting like anything related to hamsters. Because I looked through it a bit and everything was just like... It was all related to hamsters. How did I even find out? I was looking up my name. <laughs> I was looking up my name on Google. I mean, some of it was like barely even related to hamsters. It just had like hamster in the name. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe they have like a bot that scrubs the internet for anything that might be slightly related to hamsters. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> a hamster cam? If I can figure out how to set it up one day, then probably. But yes, I know it's bad. <laughs> Recently, the only times that I've done it is like to make sure the wiki shows up right, which I still don't think it does. I think it still shows 1.0 and then like a bunch of, uh, Gunplas. <laughs> For whatever reason. I don't really know why those show up, but... <laughs> but like, I, I don't know why 1.0 still shows up. I don't know how to get 1.0 to like, leave me alone. <laughs> as charming as 1.0 was. Yeah, but like, I think if I look it up right now, let me see. <laughs> nope, I'm looking up Honkai Star Rail. No, that's <laughs> not what I meant to do. Okay, never mind. Now it shows up fine. Alright, well, whatever. You perform 1.0 to haunt us. Why? <laughs> Listen, like I said, I like 1.0. But I like 2.0 a lot better. <laughs> Is there 1.5? No. None of these are what I need. I mean, she's cute in like a... Aw, oh, that was my first drawing kind of way. <laughs> if you know what that means. Emotionally invested. I mean, I was too for the longest time. For me, it, for me, it was a little jarring at first, using 2.0. <laughs> I 
But now I think if I suddenly switch back over to 1.0, it'd be even more jarring. 2.0 has to face off against 1.0. Does the hamster blog still show up fine? I don't know. I'll I'll leave that to you guys to look up. <laughs> I'll let you guys look up the hamster blog. Didn't like it, but hey, we all have to start somewhere. Exactly, exactly. And I mean, like I said, 1.0 wasn't the greatest, but it, it was a start. I made it for a total of $150 <laughs> since I did the art and then I paid for a very, very cheap rig, which was still pretty good. Don't know if the cover will help because of Honkai. It'll be fine. <laughs> Yes, maybe to remodel 1.0. But um, I to, to give everyone context, um, I was talking about in the Discord server. Some of my streams have been getting limited ads for like no apparent reason, like even stuff that doesn't seem like it would get demonetized. Like, obviously there's some streams that I, I really, I understand. <laughs> like, uh, Spec Ops The Line got a bunch of ads taken away. And I was like, yeah, I, I, I get that, I get that. They add ads randomly, even if you didn't add them. <laughs> that's, that's kind of what I was thinking, yeah. So... <laughs> I am I'm, I'm testing and I'm I'm going to see what happens. And maybe for like a few streams I'll like I'll, I'll cover them up and see if it still happens. Cuz like most of my streams are still fine. But it's just a few that I'm like why did that happen? Could it be because of the content. Yeah. Rest in peace, my channel. <laughs> I haven't even done anything bad. You can't get rid of me. <laughs> Thought you were feeling cold today. No. YouTube Kids has the craziest and bad stuff on it, but VTubers get censored. I know. And it's like, I mark my videos as not for kids. So, you know. <laughs> I should be allowed to do what I want as long as it's not like breaking any actual rules. Because I, I stay within the terms of service. They <laughs> forget YouTube kids exist. Probably. I mean... I, I'd rather forget that it exists. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. Don't die, please. Don't die, please. They marked Grave of the Firefly Circuits before. Your voice is too X-rated. I can't even do anything about that. <laughs> I would just have to start like using a voice changer. <laughs> oh my god. Why are my drops so bad today? It's all like the cowboy set. Please. That's not what I want. <laughs> I want more this one. Okay. Let me... I'm gonna heal. Where's the nearest, like, teleport? Remove your voice changer. <laughs> you almost got twinge. <laughs> Or Rumble or Facebook stream. No. <laughs> Facebook streaming is like the last resort. <laughs> and also, I Twitch is cracking down on uh, NSFW stuff. And I've seen I've seen a lot of VTubers get banned just for having like cleavage. 
so <laughs> I don't know if I want to risk going on Twitch. I'm sure. Wait, hold on. I gotta add you first. Let me see. Let's see. Yes, everyone. Except everyone. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Blade. <laughs> it's okay. Rumble seems like a good place to use as backup for VODs. I've never seen anyone like actually use Rumble. <laughs> I know, uh, didn't Ninja get like a deal to stream on there? For a while at least. But that's that's pretty much all I know about it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it... I mean, I don't think it's like a complete failure, but it didn't do too well. I think he got a deal for Rumble for a bit. Ninja was on kick? Well, that was probably after Rumble then. Because I think Rumble was before kick. It just didn't really take off as much. Why does everyone like him so much? I don't know. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like his audience is probably made up mostly of like younger kids. As I, I don't really know like adults that would be able to stand that. <laughs> Not to be mean, but... <laughs> Rainy Heal Kafka. I would assume he probably still does Fortnite. I mean, Fortnite's still, like, insanely popular. You could say that for most people who play Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, do I really need to enhance? I don't think I need to. We're playing Mihoyo, which isn't that much better. <laughs> Fortnite's falling? Really? I mean, I figured it'd probably kind of fall off after a bit, but not so fast. <laughs> Basically triples his normal attack. I'm gonna save it for the big guy, if I can. This ran its course. I mean, I know it kind of- it got really popular again after a while. Cause like... For a while, everyone that I knew, like, hated Fortnite, and then suddenly I started seeing people out of nowhere just be like, Oh, I, I love Fortnite, I love the new, the new skins, or whatever. And I was like, huh? Like, <laughs> I was like, guys, I, I thought we all hated Fortnite. What happened? <laughs> okay, it's another one of these. Fortnite's trying to be the next Roblox, so I doubt that. Yeah, I think Lego also gave it a pretty big spike. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Can I have permission to mod your model to Fortnite? If you can make a 3D model of me, then sure. They haven't, <laughs> they haven't posted the Astolfo skin yet. Yeah. I mean, if they added more like anime skins, they'd probably do pretty well. Like I think the Dragon Ball ones and then the like Jujutsu Kaisen ones did really well. And there might have been more. Not entirely sure. But like, they were doing pretty well with the anime ones. Now, I have seen people say, like, if they added, like, Hatsune Miku, they would actually play Fortnite. <laughs> oh yeah, the Naruto ones also. Best competition is Apex and Overwatch 2. <laughs> yeah. Not really, not really the greatest. I think Kafka is the lowest I feel here.
It, it really is. I feel like Mika would be such a good idea for Fortnite. And I'm kind of surprised they haven't put her in yet. But I'm guessing maybe Krypton just doesn't want her in Fortnite, maybe? <laughs> Overwatch 2 is an absolute failure. I know! They got rid of the original game because they wanted to make PvE, player versus enemy. But like, they didn't even do that and they said the plans for it are cancelled. <laughs> come on, come on. Why did you even get rid of the old game if you just aren't gonna do the thing that you promised for the second one? I feel like Overwatch 2 is worse than the first one, also. Outgoing healing boost, that's pretty good, actually. If we got more defense, it'd be pretty good, I feel like. Can wait for Miku to do the gritty on me after shooting me in the face. <laughs> yeah, I, I just feel like they could have done so much better. <laughs> We're probably gonna switch the relic farming after this one. So I've been doing this battle quite a few times now. <laughs> so let's just get through this. Uh, it's fine. We'll be fine. Does Fortnite and Fake Grand Order have collabs yet? No. I I don't I don't think Fake Grand Order would collab with Fortnite. Baker and Order, I don't think they've collabed with anything in a while. Hmm, no. Oh, is it yet? Here we go. They killed their own game, yeah. I played Fortnite a bit at first, but I was never super good at it. So I kind of just stopped. <laughs> pull for adventure or the next banner uh i'm gonna save up for robin i like robin a lot more than uh adventuring and acheron let's use this now what does fake grand order gameplay even look like uh fake grand order is card based kind of like, you choose the cards you're gonna play. You can choose three cards. It's turn based, also, like Honkai Star Rail. You can also, like, enable skills. Oh no, Kafka died. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. It's fine. I should have done that before. <laughs> but whatever. It'll be okay. Do I like My Hero Academia? At first I was okay with it, but I don't know. I don't know. I think they added too many characters. I just- I couldn't keep up. <laughs> okay, let's revive Kafka. We're gonna go to the next relic farming place. Alright, alright. I mean, I saw that he has a pretty good amount of health. So, let's see, next one is this one, yes, I'm gonna have to refill my thing also, just keep up with the female heroes. <laughs> I think figure in order, the gameplay isn't the most impressive thing, but I think the story is pretty good. Oh wait, I gotta interact with that, to refill this. Just, just take even more. And Kafka's still dead. <laughs> I need an anchor. Oh, there's one over there. Okay, it's fine. All right, let's go. <laughs> the story. <laughs> Listen, guys, I'm. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Last pool was disaster and credit. 1300 cent course in one copy. <laughs> I've played Pokemon, yes. But, um. 
Baker in order, I'm still on I'm still on uh Babylon. <laughs> I'm still on Babylon. Cause like sometimes the story is just so long, but like I don't want to skip it. <laughs> So I just put it off for like forever. So, you know. I know, I know. I've heard that the story gets better. Yeah. I I know, I know that Agartha is really bad. One of my friends that also plays Fate Grand Order complains about Agartha a lot. And like I said, I started reading the manga for Agartha. And, yeah. <laughs> I know, it sucks that Astolfo was involved in that. And Dayon, too. Because I, I, I like both of them. <laughs> uh, let's get this guy. I'm not entirely sure what happens in Agartha since I never actually got through it but I know that everyone complains about the characterization in it both for Astolfo and Dayon other media just slips through your mind no <laughs> oh I see I see that's all you need to know yeah yeah <laughs> I've also- I've been reading Fate Stay Night, but I haven't finished that either. But um, before Fate Grand Order, I was like... <laughs> I, I think Madoka Magica had me in a chokehold for quite a long time. And I mean, it, it's, it's still on my mind. Still on my mind. I think Apocrypha. Apocrypha is okay. It's not the best, but I think it's pretty good. No <laughs> fake grand order change slash save my life. <laughs> yeah. We're just, we're just gonna use this already. <laughs> Let's see. This is a tag. I mean, that's a glove, so. Mmm. It's okay. It's not the worst. Apparently, the Agartha writer wrote Lost Ark 4. I see. <laughs> I just. I'm kind of afraid to actually get to Agartha and, like, play through it. Because everyone complains about it so much. Except for, you know, the people who are into that kind of thing. <laughs> but, I don't know, I'll, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. And whenever I get through it, just, just expect a really long review on it. <laughs> Alright, we're fine. I think he's- I think he's just written a ton of weird shit. <laughs> Where Nightingale's the main character? Um... She's in the America Singularity. Like I said, I'm not past Babylon, so if she's... If, she, if she's in anything past that, then I wouldn't know. <laughs> and she's- she's... kind of a central character. In America. Alright, have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. And then... Oh, my phone is ringing. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot to put my phone on. Do not disturb. But, uh... I think she was also pretty much the main character for one of the Christmas events. The one that Astolfo Saber is from. 
So I mean, that counts at least a little bit, I guess. Because <laughs> there's Santa Nightingale also. Which I think I got all but one of the copies for. So she's not uh, as strong as she's supposed to be. Oh my god, Himeko. Don't die, please. <laughs> Easter events? I think there have been some. Pucker of <laughs> review five hours long. Yes, yes. I see, I see. I like Nightingale as a character, so I'm glad that they actually use her. <laughs> Okay, sounds pretty sounds pretty decent. HP main stat with defense. Kids a Kotal. Uh I think it's spelled a little differently. Pretty sure. <laughs> Alright, well we finally got some luck on that. I'm gonna put that on her so I don't forget. What was that again? Is it glove? Yes, it was. No, it's not glove. No, headpiece. Have I ever wanted to be a voice actress? Yes. I wanted to be a voice actress for a pretty long time when I was younger. So. I mean, it never actually like went anywhere, but <laughs> I did lend my my voice to a few uh, like fan dubs of stuff. I don't know if you could even find them anymore, <laughs> but maybe they're out there somewhere. Because I think oh, the true Valentine. <laughs> The Valentine voice pack was S tier. That's not like professional though. I mean, I'd still like to do voice acting stuff. I was thinking about it recently. And I was thinking I might uh, start getting back into doing like fandoms of stuff again. Or like voice acting for any games. Because I do like voice acting. And I mean, it's fun. I just don't really have a lot of, like, opportunities to do it. What do you voice act for a game or animated thing first? I don't know, it just depends on, like, the opportunities. And... I gotta go back to this area. I'd love to see those comic dubs like last year. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. But, like I said, we'll see. If I did do more voice acting stuff, especially in a more quote-unquote professional sense, <laughs> as in like working on indie games and stuff, it'd probably be later in the year, because I have a lot of stuff coming up, so. Batwoman for impact. <laughs> you think we can just attack? Oh my god, so many wolves. Isn't April Fool's coming soon? Yes. <laughs> um April Fools, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do some voice acting. That's uh that's a little hint that I'll give you guys. <laughs> Don't curl boss too hard. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> but I mean <laughs> I don't know how long the April Fool stream is gonna be actually because if I if I strain my voice for too long I don't know what effect that's gonna have <laughs> on like you know future streams 
Which it shouldn't impact it too much, it would just kind of hurt, but... I don't want to... <laughs> one minute. <laughs> it's gonna be longer than one minute. It's gonna be longer than one minute. I was thinking maybe like... I was thinking like 30 minutes. Around 30 to 45 minutes. I mean, it depends on like when I s get started talking. Because... <laughs> You never know. I, I might just start talking and then go for like an hour or two. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. More than two minutes. Issue with the concept of April Fool's Day is that it's hard to fool people when you know it's the day. Yeah, but I mean... I'm not really going for like... Tricking people entirely so much as it's just like something fun for everyone. Which I mean, I'm I'm putting a lot of effort into this, so <laughs> might go too deep into the bit and make a full stream. She just mutes the whole stream. No, <laughs> be no point. Let's see. Hmm. I didn't really look at the four stars for the other ones. Maybe it'll be fine. The bait and switch act like it's normal only to do it. <laughs> Stolfo debut. <laughs> no, no. It is something kind of like that. But it'd be funny if you revert back to fake voice fire. I don't even I don't even remember how I did that to be honest. I think I just kind of pitch my voice out more. Which like even when I'm voice acting, I don't really do that. I put more effort into it than that. I am... I'm cooking a lot. I'm cooking a lot. But I, I do wanna... I don't know. I mean, I'm taking time off right now, but... The stream is pre-recorded. <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably gonna take it easy, like, starting... Like, the start of April. And then slowly get back into like the normal swing of things. I gotta heal everyone. Not sure if I'm ready, but I'm excited. I just. All I'm gonna say, like publicly, <laughs> is that uh, it's probably gonna be pretty scuffed. But. I think it'll be fun regardless. Simulated universe today? Probably not. Simulated universe is fun sometimes, but I don't know. Gender reveal. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> But I mean, I, I really don't mind if it's a little scuff because I mean, it's April Fools. I'm probably I'm probably not gonna delay it to Saturday, even though it'd be better for like watching it live. I just don't think I want to risk my roommates hearing me <laughs> because they'd probably think I was insane, even more so than they already do. So. <laughs> I think it's gonna be on April Fools. If Live 2D decides to crash on April Fools. <laughs> no, it would not be funny. It'd be pretty sad actually. <laughs> I'm actually an advanced AI model. <laughs> not insane, I'm just drawn that way. True, true. <laughs> I mean it's it's gonna be interesting. I have a bunch of stuff planned. I just haven't I haven't posted too much about it or like leading up to it because I want to make sure that I have the main thing done first. <laughs> Cause you know, 
even if I post the other stuff, it's going to be useless if I don't have the main part of it done. And I think I'll have it done, so maybe I'll just post it in advance anyway. <laughs> okay. uh, I want to go to the simulated universe. We'll do it. Uh, I think I already did. Let's see. I don't think I've done World 6. But I think it's a little too hard. Probably can't do that. How about World 5? <laughs> this one, it's the same difficulty. Let's see. <laughs> you, you guys will just have to wait and see. <laughs> hey, I, I'm at least a little bit, right? Surely. 62, I can probably do that. We'll see. Uh, let's take everyone out. Thunder and the yellow one. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. Um, let's do Kafka. March 7. I don't have great relics on her, but we can try. <laughs> You're the tamest VTuber I know. Well, thanks. <laughs> uh, okay. This will be fine. Probably. And then... I... I don't know. Let's do... Preservation. I don't think I've done preservation in a while. I usually just choose randomly for the path. <laughs> nah, it'll be fine. One to two star blessing. Let's do a curio. Hmm... Yeah, this one, sure. Alright, let's go fight. Use techniques since I haven't been able to do that yet. Oh no, none of them are weak to her. Uh, support. Just seeing what you get. Yeah, pretty much. What game in 2023 did you want to play but couldn't because of time? Um, I don't know. I don't know too many games that I didn't really get to play. I mean, I have a lot of games that I want to play. But I just like keep them all on a list. <laughs> Alright, I mean her shield's still pretty decent, so we should be fine. I think. <laughs> no, no. Although I mean a lot of games now. When I think about playing them, I think about if I should play them on stream or just like on my own. <laughs> uh, yeah, why not? Got an achievement. All right. uh, I'm gonna fight as many people as I can. But like whenever a game comes out and I want to get it, <laughs> I always think about if I should play it on stream or not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I just play games that I've already played on stream anyway. Like, you know, the Portal games, I've already played them before. But <laughs> they're still fun to stream. Stellar Blade? No. 
I don't know. It doesn't seem super interesting to me, honestly. <laughs> I haven't even looked at my Steam wishlist in a long time. Side scrollers, Metroidvanias. Uh, they can be fun if they're done right. Amori being the more recent. Yeah, yeah. I do actually need to play Portal 2 and actually finish it on stream. <laughs> Since I think I started it when I saw it 1.0. And. I don't think I ever finished it. Use technique on this guy. Seeing all the dumb clips of it online was silly. <laughs> I mean, it, it is pretty silly looking. But I just... I don't know. Like I said, it doesn't seem super interesting to me. Need more than one ice guy for this. <laughs> and will there be another bad mobile game stream? I don't know. I I need to figure out a way to make sure that I would not get doxxed and then have to cut part of the stream out. Because <laughs> like the problem was that. It showed my location on stream, and I don't really want that to happen again. And like, I don't know if anyone even noticed it, but <laughs> I did. And it was not very fun for me. I'm gonna use this so I can heal Bailu. Support. Why is that even a feature? I don't know. Emulation? Well, I'm using like... I was using an Android emulator. But it still happened. So I'm not entirely sure what I could have done to prevent that. Like, I even changed my location before this stream and it still happened. <laughs> I don't know, maybe if I find another one besides Bluestacks. I don't know. I think it was just blue stacks being weird. Maybe bad Roblox games. Maybe. But those are a little harder to find since there's so many. <laughs> Maybe VPN. Yeah, it's just VPNs can be really expensive. Go live in space if you get desperate. <laughs> the internet might be good there. Uh, let's do occurrence. Why not? Yeah, so, like I said, I gotta figure that out before I do another one. And when I do another one, I don't know. Hmm. I think I might do a short stream when I do it again. Because it, it would be good for a vertical format since a lot of bad mobile games are vertical format. Another cooking stream. I do want to do another hand cam with the uh, like fossils that I got or the gems. I don't remember what exactly they were. <laughs> but I mean, I could do another stream cooking stream in the future maybe. Perfect for the audience too. True. I don't know if I, I feel like I haven't seen I haven't seen as many VTubers doing short stream recently, so maybe it's kind of falling off. But I'll see. Maybe it's still good. <laughs> the fossil game. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. But I, I I gotta like figure out a way to set it up. I also gotta I gotta find it because I don't remember where I put the actual fossils. So I gotta actually find those, and I gotta clean my gloves because they got shit on them from the gingerbread house. I cook. Um, you you can say that. 
Yeah, it's like it's like a fossil digging set. Oh, New teaches how to cook filet mignon, like how Gordon Ramsay cooked. <laughs> no, it's not actual shit. Sorry, I should have specified. It's, it still has like icing on it. They're still bad from that time. Yeah. <laughs> Gloves might be covered in mold right now. No, they're not moldy. They're not moldy, I swear. I would never let my gloves get moldy. <laughs> I, I do think though, when Spirit Halloween opens again in August, I'm probably gonna gonna go run and get some new gloves. <laughs> Cause uh, it's, it's been a while with those. Nah, they, they've been through a lot. <laughs> And I, I might just get another set from Spirit. Because <laughs> that's where I got those the first time. Or I guess I could just order online. I think they still do stuff year-round. Why specifically Spirit Halloween? That's where I bought them from. <laughs> I just... No, no, I was at Spirit and I saw them and I was like, oh, this this would be good for like hand cams. Because it kind of fits kind of fits my aesthetic. <laughs> so I bought them and I was like, uh, I'll just keep them. <laughs> I don't shop for clothes at Spirit. If you really want to know, most of my clothes are from HM. If you really want to know. And then like, sometimes other random places. And sometimes Hot Topic, because sometimes they have good stuff. Spirit's better than Walmart. Such an authentic white girl, I know. I know. <laughs> I really dress like one too. <laughs> Halloween and mall. No. No. <laughs> that should. No. This one should be it. Okay, no. Still a few more hits. Really, this. Eating from Costco and dripping from Hot Top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we get a curio. Um, let's see. Yes, this one. What does H and M mean? I'm not entirely sure what H and M means. <laughs> Last time I went to uh, Victoria's Secret, there was one. That was like really big. And I went in with my friend. And <laughs> I like let go of her hand for a second. And I turned around and she was gone. And I was like. Ah. <laughs> and like I was looking around. And I almost. <laughs> I almost got lost because I was like going in circles around the entire store. It was made up of a bunch of different rooms. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, I'm lost in a fucking Victoria's Secret. <laughs> I got out though. I got out. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like it. Yeah. Let's do this one. <laughs> I felt so stupid when I got back to the entrance because I was like, oh, it was like this all along. <laughs> You'd say you were blind like a bat in there. Yeah, I guess so. A lot of interesting stuff in Victoria's Secret. <laughs>
I don't know. I mean, I wasn't really looking. <laughs> mm. I mean... None of these seem very good. I guess we'll do this one. It's fine. Not too bad. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I talked too early. What does this do? Okay, I thought it would put a shield on me since it's preservation, but sure. <laughs> I haven't actually been to the mall with anyone in a long time, though. It's like, I don't know. It's just, it's not the same. And a lot of malls now are pretty much dying, so sometimes it's kind of sad to go there. <laughs> Is Hot Topic good? Uh, they have good stuff sometimes. But a lot of the time, their stuff is kind of, I don't know, kind of edgy. In Kim's stream of Pythia going mall shopping. There's such a big risk, risk of like doxing myself though, if I did that. <laughs> and like, <laughs> like I said, a lot of Hot Topic stuff tries really hard to be edgy. Oh my god, they heal themselves. <laughs> yeah, Hot Topic has a lot of anime stuff now. But... Like, some of it's good, some of it's uh, not so good. <laughs> some of it's bad. It really just depends. Let's just do this again. Here we go. Uh, I feel like it's more for like teenagers. Is it at least self-aware edgy? Some of it, but some of it not so much. <laughs> I think I gotta go this way, yes. You. I, I have some ripped jeans, but that's just because, like, I bought them during a time when pretty much all that was available was ripped jeans. Actually, I'm, I'm wearing them right now. <laughs> but, uh... Um, I think the problem with them is, like, it gets cold because there's a big hole in your pants. <laughs> And like, during summer I guess it's fine, but usually you're not wearing jeans during summer anyway. <laughs> Think I could succeed as a fashion designer? I don't know about that, but maybe. <laughs> Like I said, I bought them when that was like all they had. And I just haven't really bought pants in a while because I haven't needed to, so. Then they get too tight indoors though. I usually buy like slightly baggy ones. Usually I don't get ones that are like super tight. I like for it to be pretty baggy. And I, I have some cargo pants too that I wear sometimes. I did, when I was in college, I thought about uh, minoring and like fashion design. Which I never ended up doing. <laughs> but I had thought about it for a bit. Not <laughs> just showing off those hips. <laughs> I just, like I said, I like them to be baggy. I'm 
Christmas one. Let's keep going. I don't really want to fight this guy. I think I have to though. Do I thrift often? Um, sometimes. Usually most of the thrift stores around here though don't have a lot of good stuff. Do we like skirts? I do. I do. The ones I like the most though are the ones that have the built-in uh, shorts. Because if not then I have to wear like bike shorts underneath. <laughs> Which isn't super fun. But if they're already like built in there, then it's fine. And I I bought some skirts a while ago, but I never ended up wearing them since it was like winter. So maybe this summer I will. Do I still wear the Sailor Moon ring? Sometimes. Sometimes. I haven't had anyone else ask if I'm engaged, though. Or married. <laughs> Never seen those types of skirts. I mean, I think they're pretty common. I should bring back everyone wearing robes and long coats. Yeah, exactly. I need Bailu's ult. I need to heal everyone. Let's see. Um, I guess we can heal now. <laughs> no, obviously toy free. I mean, I guess if we were looking from far away, it might look like an engagement ring, maybe? But I... I really don't know. <laughs> and then like... <laughs> the other day... I was in the store... And... <laughs> well, for, for the Sailor Moon ring, for the context... It was from Hot Topic. It was like 10 bucks at Hot Topic. <laughs> And it, it really looks like a toy ring. But um, as I was saying, the other day I went to the store and I, <laughs> I was getting donuts from like the bakery section because I was like, man, I, I really want donuts. I haven't had donuts in forever. So <laughs> I was getting donuts and I turn around and this like old woman was behind me all of a sudden. <laughs> and like she didn't say anything she just kind of looked at me and I was like um do you do you need something miss <laughs> and she was like do you know what day Easter is do you know if it's this Sunday or the next one and I was like I, I don't know <laughs> this one. Here we go. <laughs> it really did feel like an NPC interaction. Uh, okay. But I was like, um, I, I think it's next Sunday. <laughs> and this was this past Sunday, by the way. <laughs> And so she was like, oh, okay, thanks. And then, like, I saw her talking to a bunch of other people in the store. I think they didn't know her. <laughs> because everyone seemed kind of confused. <laughs> and, like, after I talked to her, I was like, do I just... Do I look like a Christian? Like... <laughs> I don't know, how am I supposed to know what day Easter is? <laughs> I was expecting she would turn to dust after the conversation was over. 
I was just like, why why are you asking me? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Maybe she thought I look approachable or something. Maybe that's why. <laughs> he was trying to see if you were the chosen one. I failed. Oh, sorry. But it was a random event. <laughs> that's what it felt like. It felt like an unskippable cutscene. And like I said, at first she didn't even say anything. She was just looking at me. So I was like, what? <laughs> Or Christian Aura. <laughs> I don't know. I I might. I'd rather have the first one than Christian Aura. She needed a youngling to look it up. <laughs> Same type of experience happened to me. I was walking to Walmart when a lady stopped me and asked if I smoked. <laughs> Real life is just so absurd sometimes. <laughs> like sometimes when I go out. Like to the store or something. I just have the weirdest interactions. You have a cross behind your VTuber? Well, yeah, but it's not like I carry that around in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I think there was a time when there was like a little kid that came up to me and started like holding my hand. <laughs> And I like turned and looked and I didn't know the kid. And I was like, what? Huh? <laughs> and I was like, uh, where where are your parents? <laughs> like, who are you? <laughs> you also went to choir, so you have that blessed aura. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> oh my god, so many guys. Just enhance everyone. No one's weak to lightning. <laughs> That's whatever. Oh, uh, it's fine. <laughs> Maybe hmm, put, a, put another shield on her. Maybe I should have put one on Bylo. <laughs> I really do not have good, like, guys for this battle. What happened to your self-appointed child after that? Uh, I had to walk with them to find their parents. <laughs> and when we got to the parents, they were like, Oh, we, we didn't know where he went. And I was like, y you weren't watching your child? <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> and they they thanked me but still i was just like were you not watching your child <laughs> an account review <laughs> i mean i don't really care about my builds to be honest they're pretty bad anyway <laughs> did you see a resemblance to yourself at all not really no Um, Yukong's dead. That's probably fine. Probably, probably. Oh wait, Bailu saved her. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that she could do that. Thank you, Bailu. You saved my life. <laughs> I don't know, like I said, like I said. <laughs> introvert or extrovert I feel like I feel like I'm somewhere in the middle to be honest I don't think I really quite fall under introvert but I don't think I'd be classified as an extrovert either because like I don't want to talk to people all the time but I do like talking to people a lot it's just you know not all the time like there are times when I want to be alone <laughs> But I don't know, maybe that's just normal. I might die. <laughs> An anarchist? <laughs> oh. 
Okay, one of them is dead. Uh, probably want to save that for Bailu. Want to save that for both Bailu and March Seventh. Correction. Okay, and we should be okay now. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. As long as we can get rid of some of them. Okay, her ult's almost full. Well, that also helps quite a bit. I don't think I should attack with Bailu. Not very useful. Alright. Let's see if we can do this. A stretch. Uh, after I get through these attacks. Maybe put a shield on someone. Probably... probably Yukong again. I probably don't need to do Bailu's actually, but I can't take it back now. <laughs> Code Vein? I did start playing it. I have the game, and I started playing it like a year ago, maybe? Alright, have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. I think it's fun, but I didn't get super far in it. Oh my god, we still have so much more HP to go until we kill this guy. <laughs> Alright, let me stretch now. Alright, we're doing better now. Uh, we're gonna forego shield for right now. And then, I don't think I need to support yet. I don't need to heal either. I just want to get this guy's HP down a little more. True, true. Mm. <laughs> I mean, having the path is also helping a lot. That does like 7k damage each time, which is nice. Spooky Run Kingdom? I've played it before, but I could probably try it on stream eventually. Or see if I can find my account from when I used to actually play it. Um, I think everyone's HP is fine. No, no, these guys again. <laughs> what can I say? I'm just a professional Honkai player. <laughs> no, I, I used to play a lot of uh, Fire Emblem. So, I don't know, maybe that's part of it. Cookie Clicker? Sure. Let's do this again. Kneel before the power of friendship. <laughs> An endurance Candy Crush vertical stream? I think I would lose my mind playing Candy Crush. I did have a Fire Emblem phase, yes. <laughs> um, uh, that, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Just don't attack Kafka and we're fine. Oh my god, it's a miracle? What's my favorite Fire Emblem game? I don't know. Maybe... what was it called? Shadows of Valencia? I don't know. I, I think I might like Shadows of Valencia the most. 
Which Fire Emblem should you play if you want to get started? Um, I don't know. I kind of just started at a random point in the series when I played it, so I don't think it really matters too much. I mean, some of the games have like lore that you're not going to know about if you don't play like prerequisite games, but some of them are also so old that you have to emulate. Which, I don't know, you might not have a problem with that. Okay, we're fine. I have not played Castlevania, no. At least I don't think I have. I just want this guy to die, oh my god. Okay, I probably shouldn't do that. Bloons <laughs> tower defense. I think you would like it because it has fan buyers. I know, I know. <laughs> I don't really know that much about Fire Emblem, but there's, there's a, the designs are nice, if I can speak correctly. I love Fire Emblem designs. I've planned on playing Castlevania for quite a while, I just haven't gotten around to doing it. Because I have a big long list of games that I've been meaning to play for like years. And sometimes I get to them and sometimes I don't. Can you give Kafka more attack? It would help her a lot. Yeah. I think I tried to get her attack pretty high, but... I don't know how good my relics on her are. I don't think I've actually been farming for her in a while. If they're on sale. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. It's like I said, it's been a while. <laughs> There's just a lot of games I gotta get to, okay? It's just how it is as a gamer. You guys understand, right? <laughs> we have enough for this. Should, anyway. Do this again. Put that on Kafka so she doesn't die. We're just chat. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna try and get these guys. They're annoying. <laughs> I see, I see. Get a heal. And then I think I'm gonna hit with everyone's ults if I can. Let's see if I can get by lose. Yes, I can. Alright, let's do everyone's again. And we'll see. I don't think it's gonna kill him, but. <laughs> We'll see. I think it's gonna take a few more, a few more ults. <laughs> I didn't even mean to stream this long to be honest, but we're here now. We're gonna keep going until I kill this guy, probably. Unless he kills me first, which I don't think is going to happen. This game doesn't have permadeath. <laughs> Let's just start attacking. I know, I know. But I do want to kill him. I don't think... Is this even the final boss of the... fucking uh, simulated universe? I don't think it is. Or maybe it is, and I just wasn't paying attention. Maybe you should turn on auto. I know, but I'm scared. What if something goes wrong? <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is even the... 
<laughs> yeah, this isn't even the final guy. You can unpause, I see. They tell you need to roll them into Kacha again. <laughs> They'd probably get into like a lawsuit over that. Here. We'll do auto. We'll do auto. Auto, I trust you to do whatever. <laughs> they don't actually do that. Like I said, they'd probably get into a pretty big lawsuit if they actually did that. Alright, please don't die, guys. Also use this, please. <laughs> Okay. Probably didn't need to use Bailu's ult, but okay. <laughs> now I'm just criticizing the fucking uh the game's AI. Whatever. As long as they don't die, it's fine. <laughs> we'll just watch. <laughs> I know. Alright, it's doing well enough. Like I said, as long as we don't die. Writing thing it's 1999. <laughs> Otto's doing a pretty decent job, unless Yukong dies, which could happen. And Kafka. Oh, Kafka's dead. And Yukong's dead. <laughs> um. Well. <laughs> Uh, it might still be fine. <laughs> My god, I just like put a curse on it in real time. <laughs> this is what you get for autoing. It would have taken like another hour to beat this if I didn't go auto. <laughs> It's fine. We we still have March seventh and uh, Bailu. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, Bailu! Bailu! Oh Bailu, you're so dead. Bailu, you're so dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay. It's okay. Video games should not be like self-driving cars. <laughs> it's okay, we got pretty far. Milo and Yukong were only level 60 anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's get all my rewards. At least I unlocked some new shit, so I got silly jade. <laughs> I know, it's so sad. <laughs> What's the level cap? Uh I think it stops at a hundred, right? Or maybe 80? I think it might be 80, actually. These are at 70. So probably 80. I don't, I've never seen anyone with above a level 80. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. <laughs> what if we gamble just a little bit? Just a little bit. We walk, work on your Kafka. I'm probably going to end stream in a bit. I'll work on Kafka later, okay? I'll, I'll fix her. I'll fix her. Him? I don't know. I don't really care for him. I've not played Star Ocean or the Tales of series. I I like Akron more than he than him. And also, I feel like I've seen his banner at least like seven times now. It's probably been less than that, but... 
Kefir needs more attack break effect than DOT relic set. Yeah. I'll, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Run it. <laughs> Let's gamble. Well, I have Hoho, so I don't think I need him. Okay, four star. But still. We could get a new character. <laughs> Unless it's a fucking card. Let's see. No, I think it's a card. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> yes, there's an actual train. No character, it's just cards? Come on. Come on. <laughs> I know. I know. Let's see. I can buy one more pass. Here. We'll do one more. Standard wishes? Um, I have two. I can do two of those. Spend money. Here, I'm, I'm gonna do one. We're gonna do one. One more. And then we'll do the two that I have on the uh, standard. <laughs> this is what a gambling addiction looks like. Okay, it's blue. This is where our memberships go. <laughs> oh. Hammers exchange? I already bought them for this month. Was it worth it? No. <laughs> but it built pity. I mean, I'm not really aiming for Acheron anyway. Because I'd rather save up and get um, Robin. So, anyway. Let's do the two I have here. <laughs> it's not copium though, it's true. It's true, I am building pity. <laughs> Four star? Okay, another Lynx copy. I'm not too upset over that. Not too upset over that. I do like Lynx. She's a she's a pretty decent healer. Alright, one more. <laughs> Let's see. Probably gonna be a blue again. My luck. On a four star? I think she's a pretty decent healer. Wow, thank you, passkey. Just what I wanted. <laughs> Alright, let me... Let's put that on her. This one. I already have quite a few of her, but I mean, if I get her to E6, then that's pretty good. <laughs> this is why I can't get into, like, gambling at casinos. And also just, I don't really feel like doing that anyway. <laughs> the casinos don't attract me like gacha games do. <laughs> also more friend requests? Yes. Except everyone. <laughs> of course, of course. 90% <laughs> of gamblers quit before their big win? True. <laughs> but anyway. I'm going to end stream here for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had fun. And I'll see you guys again on Saturday. I know it feels like I've been gone for a bit. And it's going to feel like I'm gone for a little bit longer. But <laughs> just, just bear with it. Just bear with it. I'll be back to normal. Back to normal streaming schedule. I mean, soon enough. <laughs> just got to work on things. So... Give me time and thank you guys so much. Have a good night. Sleep well. Have sweet dreams. Good night and bye bye.